guys, welcome back to Pristine's Reads. Today, I have kind of a different video for you guys, as you can tell by the thumbnail, obviously. I'm giving you reading recommendations for boys. Now, obviously, I'm a girl, so I like to read mostly more girly stuff. I wouldn't say I never read boy stuff, I do. Of course, the majority of the stuff I read is mostly not all for girls, but yeah. The selection of books I have here for you today, they have all been read by my younger brother, who's just like a year and a bit younger than me. So um, yeah, he approves them all. I asked him for a selection of books that he enjoyed, so he gave me these series. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay, so first thing that he gave to me when I said, hey, I'm filming a video, about book recommendations for boys. What would you recommend? What series or single book have you read that you immediately want to recommend to other boys? And then he immediately said this series. He was like, Boys of Blur, duh. So, Boys of Blur by Andy Wilson. This is just a single book. It's not very long, um, because I like long books, but he has a shorter attention span than I do, so he, read shorter books mostly. Um, so yeah, he recommended this book straight off the bat, Boys of Blur by N.D. Wilson, and when I asked him why he liked it, you know what he said? Because it's got football in it. Standard boy, um, yeah, just standard boy <laughs> response. So yeah, he likes it because it's got football in it. I have read it. Yes, I did like it. Um, apparently he likes it a lot more than I do. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna say it's a bad book. It's pretty good. Um, it's probably what I wouldn't say it's my first choice of favorite book, but apparently it's his or something. So yeah, um, Boys of Love by Andy Wilson, do check that out. I'll have links to all the books I mentioned in the description below so you can go check them out. Okay, that was the first book. Let's move on to the next series. The next thing he said was the Prince Warrior series. If you guys have like watched other of my videos, um, then you'll probably have seen me mention this series quite a few times before. They're really good for boys pretty much of all ages. Um, I have two brothers and they both read them and they really like them. Uh, one is 12, the other one is 8. Um, so yeah, they both really like them a lot. Don't know how much my 8 year old brother understood because they're kind of more like novels, each of them. There are four books in this series, but the third one we have on Kindle, so obviously I can't show that to you. I've also read this series. I have enjoyed it. I do recommend it. And yeah, move on to the next one. The next series my 12-year-old brother recommended is the OS series, or the Remnant Trilogy, by Tim Chaffee and K. Marie Adams. So these books um, I got from the Ark Encounter. Um, don't even know what that is. It's in Kentucky. It's from the Answers in Genesis Ministries. They've made um, a life-size reproduction of Noah's Ark. My family has, has visited it several. My family has visited the place several times, and it's pretty cool. So we got the series at the bookstore. Technically, my dad got them for me to read, so I read them. I really liked them. Then my brother read them, and he really liked them. So yeah, these are amazing. They're like really suspenseful and gripping. Um, they have an amazing perspective of like the pre-flood and just yeah, basically actually all the books cover like three cover pre-flood because they're basically covering like Noah's early life. Um, but yeah, pretty cool biblical fiction basically. Now I would say though that I recommend this for like boys of a slightly older audience, like, I wouldn't say 11, I'd say probably 12. Um, the reason for that being is there's prob there probably some, like, more mature content in here. Um, there's nothing, like, wildly inappropriate. Um, definitely just a bit more on the mature side, I think. So yeah, uh, just a little note there. Okay, moving on. The next thing he said was the series Guys Read, or Guys Read, I don't know, by... They're, they have all sorts of different authors writing like mini stories, so each book is like a collection of stories and yeah. Now I must give a note and say that these authors aren't Christian, so I will also give a note about um, some not super good content here. I've read that before. I mean, I mean like I've read, I've, I've read all these books 
too. So yeah, there's not some super good content in here. So for that reason, I'm probably gonna recommend it to slightly older boys again. Um, now the reading level actually is not that high. Like I wouldn't say that the writing is so complicated that you have to be like 12 to read it. It's just like some of the content in there is more appropriate for 12 year olds, I would say. So yeah, definitely another slightly old thing. Um, and also this series has like seven, eight volumes, I don't know. Um, but I only brought three because it was a pain to like all of the volumes up the stairs. I know, I'm so lazy. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, have these three volumes here. They have, for example, um, the first one is Funny Business. They have like different themes. This one is like Thriller. Uh, they have the sports pages. I know some other ones we have are based on like true stories, heroes and villains, etc. Forget what the rest are. Um, but yeah, so this one series I have. He enjoyed them mostly because they were funny, he said. Um, so this is more like of a humor kind of thing. Moving on. Next series he said was the Sunlit Land series. I have reviewed this already. Um, you can go check out my reviews of that. I'll leave a link for that in the description as well. Um, so yeah, I have reviewed these books already. I read them. These are also one of my favorite series. Um, so, yeah, we all like the same thing. Is that kind of weird or not? <laughs> um, yeah, anyways, he likes these because he says they're a great blend of fantasy and humor. This is basically kind of like other world fantasy. Um, well, actually, it's all fantasies and like other worlds, so what am I saying? And he said also it's really funny. He likes the sarcastic wit and humor, which I agree. I do like that as well. Um, I would recommend this for like, I think my review I said 11 to 12 plus, I think. I'll double check that and like correct it something if I get it wrong. 11 to 12 plus, I think, probably, because it's a bit more complicated. Again, like, the content is not, like, inappropriate or anything. It's not super mature, I think. Um, but just, like, the writing level is probably going to be easier for 12-year-olds to understand. 12, 11-year-olds to understand. But yeah, okay, moving on. So, next up is Classic Hardy Boys Mysteries by... What's his name? Franklin W. Dixon. Um, so yeah, I have this box set, and there's another one that contains books 11 through 20, but I didn't want to lug all that upstairs again to just film the video. But, um, yeah. So, note that I have only read books 1 through 20. Um, so, so my brother, so has my brother, he's only read books 1 through 20 as well. Um, so I can't really say anything about any of the other Hardy Boys mysteries beyond these. Um, so yeah, just... Be cautioned but all the ones I read 1 through 20 are perfectly safe I think um, there are some however that probably range more on like the spooky side because after all these are mysteries they're kind of meant to be spooky and I think Dixon achieved that <laughs> um, but yeah it's basically like a lot of adventure action mystery suspense thing um, I will mention though there's one I think book 20 which I left downstairs. Um, it mentions stuff about like the Zodiac. The book is not like totally revolving around it, but it does have some stuff to do with the Zodiac, astrology, etc. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure it's book 20. That's that. Let's move on to the last one. No wait, sorry, I lied. There's still two more. So next up is the Keeper of the Lost Cities series by Shannon Messenger. Here you go, I have the box set, books one through five. Um, I've also got books six through eight over there. Um, and book 8.5 is coming out in three days. That's exciting. Okay, I reviewed these as well. These are also one of my favorite series ever. Um, they are really good for both boys and girls, actually, um, though my brother has enjoyed these a lot. Um, this is also arranging more on like kind of the fantasy side. Um, I really recommend these for like age 11, I think. They're not like, again, they're not like wildly inappropriate or mature or anything. Um, none of these books here are like, they don't contain inappropriate content. But again, if you want to see more in-depth 
detailed reviews on this, um, then go check out my playlist I have um, of these reviews. I've got super spoiler and non-spoiler, so you can take your pick. I'll leave those links in the description as well. So yeah, okay. Now last one for real, guys. The Epic Order of the Seven series, um, which my siblings are actually currently doing a rereading marathon of right now, so they're literally all over the house. And I do not have the energy today to go running around the house collecting the books for the purpose of this video. So yeah, they're all doing a rereading marathon of that series. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I've reviewed all those books. Again, I have a playlist of them. I'll also put that in the description. Yeah, so my brother, both of my brothers actually really like this series as well. Um, they like it because it's funny, it's got cute animals in it, um, and they like all the biblical fiction, and I wouldn't go as so far to say that they like the history because, you know, they're kids, they're boys, I don't like history and books kind of stands to reason, but I like it. Hey. So yeah, they both really like it. Um, so I recommend that for ages probably 10 and up. I would say maybe 9 possibly. Um, it depends on which book as you progress further along, the history level kind of like goes up. So um, again, check out my in-depth reviews for more information on that. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say guys. So, so, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up below and comment down below with any questions you've got for me. Um, I've got more fun stuff coming up. Um, I'll have to pick a series to review next. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video again. Thank you so much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That's all I got to say. Bye guys! Bye! Bye!